right personality development express yourself there are a lot of courses okay now what i'm interested at is tutors and that's what i see over here 4.9 rating holds teaching certificate all right good traveling literature world news right there's a person from great britain and there are people from america cara lori lori is a new talent there are a lot of new talents over here Leanne S, I work with you busy in nine minutes, so I think that's the amount of time that I need. Can I go for a session? Let's see. Leanne. Yes, she has some class scheduled. Hello. Uh -huh. Hi. Is my voice clear? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Hi, I'm Ashish. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Nice to meet you as well. I'm from India. So before we actually begin, I have to put a disclaimer over here. So I run a YouTube channel, and uh, currently Camly has given me the sponsorship deal, and. Uh, I have to create some video kind over here. So, if you're completely okay with uh, being recorded and all, then only we can proceed. So, tell me, is that perfectly fine? Oh, well, I see you have 30 minutes, but I have a reservation in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I so saw I that. Do you, need, do you need the full 30 minutes? Uh, no, I don't need full 30 minutes, but I will need somewhere close to 10 minutes. Will that be possible? Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right, all right then. So since this is kind of like a promotion, can you explain a little bit what you guys do at Cambly? So Cambly is actually a platform for practicing English conversation. All right. So it's not really for beginners or elementary learners. Mm -hmm. It's for people and students, yeah. school students, who can speak a little, yeah. but want to improve and grow and learn more. Mm. A lot of the people on Cambly are adults, okay. especially those trying to improve their jobs, mm -hmm. get better jobs, get management mm -hmm. positions, okay. or go and live in another country. Mm -hmm. And Cambly Kids is a separate platform that specializes in giving lessons to children. All right. So you get, like, which country do you get maximum number of users from? Well, I think because of my time zone, I'm GMT plus two. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of students from Gulf countries, especially Saudi Arabia All right. and Turkey. Where are you yeah. currently at? I'm in Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, all right, all right. How is the situation over there? The COVID situation? In what regard? For the, the COVID? Yeah. It's actually not bad. We have fewer than a thousand new patients per day. Okay. okay. Diagnosis, so that's good. And fewer than a hundred people die every day, which it's sad, but yeah. I know that some countries are having a much worse time. All right. So I think maybe it's because people are trying to be careful, or at least some. All right, all right, all right. So where are you originally from? Are you from there only? Or you grew up somewhere else? No, I grew up here in Johannesburg. Oh. I was born here, my hometown. All right, all right. I went through the whole Cambly program. I saw that they only have people as tutors who have native English as their native tongue, right? Something like that. Yes, that's my understanding, yeah. And uh, is there some other requirement like you have to have some certified course, something other than that? Like qualifications as tutors over there? You don't have to have. If you have, then you can add that to your profile, but it's not a requirement. All right, all right. So, uh, as tutor over here, how do you actually guide a particular person who wants to improve their spoken English? I'll give you a slight introduction. Actually, I'm in a similar kind of business and that is what I do. I run a personality development course and I'm in India and there's a huge demand of people. You must have seen that as well. They want to improve their spoken English. 
and English actually is one of our official language and that is why a lot of companies and work a lot of interviews goes on in English only so I also train people when it comes to improving their spoken English so I want to know like how do you guys train in improving their spoken English All right. I prefer to be guided by the students. So I usually ask them, what do you want to actually work on? Mm -hmm. So for some of them, it really is purely conversation. All right. But for others, they actually want to improve their pronunciation as well. Mm -hmm. Their grammar is maybe not so good. So sometimes we do grammar lessons. The mm -hmm. Cambly library has various courses. Mm -hmm. And those lessons include vocabulary, grammar, and a lot of conversation practice. Mm -hmm. And another thing that's popular is reading. So students will read an article and then we'll discuss it afterwards. Yeah. And what's nice about Cambly is that the tutors can give corrections. Okay. Maybe you can see on the right there's a chat box. Yeah, yeah, I can see so it over there. Yeah, it's got a timestamp. So when the students get the video of the lesson afterwards, they oh, can okay. see recorded version. at which point they made a mistake mm -hmm. and what the teacher was correcting. All right. Yeah. So what is unique about this app, what I can see is that there are only one on one interaction, right? There's not like a group kind of you have a set of someone, let us say 10 to 50 people. It's not like that, right? Not that I've ever experienced. Yeah. I've had like siblings, mm -hmm. like two little boys together. Okay. To together All right. Like two they want to be they, in the same yeah. video chat like that. They will be sitting nearby like that. Yeah, they are together. All right. Because All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so I've never had a group class on Cambly. Okay, okay. That is great. That is great. So I'll not be wasting a lot of your time. I'm just going to take some around four minutes more and uh, that will be it. So tell me a little okay. bit about yourself, like your career trajectory. How do you get into over there, like teaching over here people about personality, spoken English and all? I got into teaching by accident. <laughs> all right. I started doing a master's degree. Uh -huh. Right. And one of my friends at the time suggested tutoring. Mm. So at first I was tutoring children mm. and I discovered that I really enjoyed teaching. So mm. I became a qualified teacher in 2017 mm. but I find that I don't like being in the classroom with so many kids and <laughs> talking. So right. I like teaching one on one. So mm. I did that after school. Mm -hmm. I get extra lessons. Mm -hmm. And then I discovered teaching English because English is my passion but being a South African, most mm. people speak English very well, oh, is especially it? in the cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so teaching online has given me a chance to teach my favorite language. Okay, like what did you do your master's in? Can you tell me? I was focusing on geography oh. originally. All right, all right. And climatology specifically. Okay. But the supervisor was an ecologist. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he came from a very different angle, a different perspective. And okay. So I just I don't enjoy it anymore. It mm -hmm. wasn't what I originally envisioned mm -hmm. for my master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. just out of curiosity, like, what language do... Is there any mother tongue for South Africans over there? You said a lot of them speak mm -hmm. English, but what, what is their native? Yeah. There are many languages. Mm -hmm. There are 12 official languages in South Africa. 12? English is one of them. All yeah. right. Most mm -hmm. people in the cities like to send their children to English-speaking so okay. they learn in English. All right. Some of them speak other languages at home. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them are African languages and then English and Afrikaans mm -hmm. are from colonizers. Yeah. British yeah. came here 200 years ago and the Dutch about 350 years ago. So yeah, yeah. those two languages mm -hmm. have to come down from there. All right. All right, that is great. Very, very insightful. I think that will be more than sufficient. I'm thinking that you are having a class at 9 o'clock, right? Yes, you're right. Yes, on point, I'm going to let you go. All right. And it was okay. it was a pleasure talking to you. Got a very good idea. It and it will be very helpful. Um, my name is Ashish Ranjan. I run a YouTube channel by the name of Talk4712. That is TORQ4712. So a video on this, I'm actually going to make a video on that only. Like 
why most people are not able to improve their spoken english so i've been running this course for one year now so i have a pretty good idea what mistakes most people make so maybe you can check out a cut scene over there of yours as well all right so on sunday yeah, you can find the video. yeah so yeah same year same year all right okay thanks a lot all right bye You're stay welcome. safe yeah freaking obviously 100% rating now Johannesburg South Africa mm -hmm.